I'm not going to do anything. Just, I just want to escape here. I'm trying. Choke, 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 choke. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Got to move. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of here. Man, that was close. That was close. This guy almost choked me out, guys. Get me again. That was good. Hey guys, can we just just a little light? Uh, John, John, just just a little lower. Oh, sorry. Maybe maybe just go outside if you like, or or in the room. <laughs> What was your name again? Eddie. 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 What's up, Eddie? Hey guys, teach me grappling. I'm back, Brian Peterson, and I've got Eddie. Eddie, last name? Duff. Eddie Duff. Now I know. I recognize the name. Yeah. You won the rash guard or the t-shirt? T-shirt. Yeah. This guy won the the rash guard and the t-shirt. Yeah. You won both? Well, you get, I think you compliment me with the t-shirt. Oh, the t-shirt was a complimentary. Yeah. So you guys that uh, contribute to Patreon, you might get a t-shirt as well or a rash guard. So this guy was lucky enough to do that. Where are you from? I'm originally from Dublin, Ireland. I live in Vancouver, uh, Canada. So how awesome is that? Came all the way. Just passing through LA and I wanted to stop in the gym just to meet Brian himself. And now, Guys, I'm, being, and now I'm being put on a video. Yeah, this is how we do it. Merry Christmas, everyone. It's December 23rd, day before Christmas Eve, and uh, we're about to go paintballing right now, but we want to give you guys a technique. We've been working on so many different moves and I've realized I've never shown you guys an arm triangle defense. So I want to give you guys an arm triangle defense and then Merry Christmas, I'm going to give you guys my favorite little counter to this arm triangle defense. So uh, first we'll start out with the arm triangle. So go ahead. Uh, get me in. In an arm triangle. Okay. Man, this guy's all over. Okay, okay. Just stay right here. Okay, stay chill, stay chill. Just relax, relax, you're choking me out. Good job. Okay, guys, he's here in the arm triangle. Everyone should know this move. It's a very important move to, to know. I'll go ahead, come around here. Yeah. Okay, so when I'm here, the more, he's got his right biceps up against my carotid artery, and then my right shoulder and my right biceps also against here. So when he closes the deal and brings everything together, it starts to put me out. Okay, so doing this automatically helps you survive. Like right now, we're just in an arm wrestling battle of him squeezing and me doing this. That right there helps a ton, okay? So I don't, a lot of people, there's different defenses, and I'm not saying this won't work. Some people turn in, and that what that does, it tightens the choke. But if you turn in far enough, you can start to threaten this arm escaping the position, and then you're okay, and then you're looking good. But generally speaking, if you run into a tight hold, it's not good to go this way, okay? So if it's tight and his head's in good position, I, I turn in and he starts to squeeze and I'm gonna get choked. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna go this way. And this is a real common, common defense, been around forever, nothing new, but it's awesome, it's very effective, you should know it. When the guy goes to side control, and he's trying to close that deal, I'm gonna bring, not my hand to my leg, but I'm gonna bring my leg to my hand. Remember that. Roll your legs up, and then the leg that's closest to him, the same leg of the arm that's choking me, is the one I grab. And then here's my details. A lot of people have different details. This, these are mine. I prefer palm facing away, S grip, okay? S grip, unless you are super long limbed, use the S grip. Here's why, I'll, I'll give you my, my theory on why I use this grip. If I use a palm to palm, it's good as well. So the palm to palm, I take the back of my hand, I put it on the back of my knee, okay? When I do this, I'm basically doing like a leg press in the gym. I'm kicking like this to try to take my shoulder and keep it away from my neck, which helps my carotid artery stay clear right here so I can keep breathing, just, just like that. Now this was very powerful, okay? 
But when I use the S grip, I'm allowing a little more length in my arms for my leg to have more power. And here's the point. Every one of you that have lifted weights in the gym know what I'm talking about. If you, you know, you see a real cute girl and you're like, I want to impress her. So I'm going to stack on all the weight on the leg press machine. So you throw all that weight on the leg press machine. And then all of a sudden what happens when the weight comes down to here, you can't extend the legs. Once you are like, like an accordion, you are like compressed like this. It's the hardest part of the lift. If you get to the end of the lift where you get to really activate your quads, you're really strong. And so that's my argument. Now, it only, the percentage difference is very minor. It might be 1%, but if 1% better, that's the one I'm gonna choose. So I definitely don't lock any other way. I don't like to grab my wrist. This grip is not good, okay? Grabbing your wrist is not good for this, this move, okay? I like S grip, right palm facing away in this case. Lock, and then go ahead and squeeze. And I'm gonna keep it away. Now, could I go palm to palm? Oh yeah. It'll work. But if you guys ever feel like palm to palm and your knee is too close to your, your face and you're trying to extend and he's closing it, go ahead and close it up. Get to where you can use your S grip. So now you see my head is going up and I'm here. Then check out this detail. I'm using my abdominals. My legs are in the air. I'm gonna start rocking. Go ahead and keep squeezing. See, by rocking, I'm able to get onto my left side. Once I get to here, this is fully open. You should survive at this point, hopefully, okay? Until we learn the counter. But once you're here, most likely what's going to happen, he's not gonna be able to finish you. He'll probably come up into a position to attack for an arm bar or the mount. So he'll get up on his knees and then he'll adjust. He wants to either take your back, he wants to get to an arm bar, beautiful. Or maybe he'll, he'll go to a gift wrap. You know, this is much more common. Or he won't even have a gift wrap. Maybe, maybe, uh, come on back. Maybe he'll just have a seat belt. He'll adjust, see, look at his arm triangle. He'll maneuver his lock to the middle of my chest. And then now he'll step over the mount. This is another very common position, okay? And this is all really good for him. He should know how to do all that. Now go ahead and step back off. So once you do this counter, he locks you up and you go, go ahead and squeeze. I bring the leg to the hand. I start rocking and that was pretty easy. I was able to get to my side. Once you guys are right here and the guy starts to shift, okay? If he doesn't shift, I might be able to bring my arm back. If he doesn't shift and turn back in and try to take his back and then it'll probably turn into the guard position. But if he adjusts right here and you're here, don't wait, go to hand control. Uh, you can slide your right arm out. Yeah, like he's controlling here. Go to hand control. That way, once you're in hand control, you can maneuver and slide out of there, putting the guy back into your guard. Okay? So, um, don't just sit there. One of the mistakes that people make is they're too happy with just not tapping. They go, I didn't get tapped, I'm okay. And then they go into this cocoon thing, fetal position where they just defend. So, remember, the moment to escape is almost immediately after he realizes he can't choke you. He's trying to choke me. And I go to here, and if he ever adjusts, I'm worried about my, the choke right now, but if he ever starts to adjust, I defend right away. I start like escaping. And then we put him back. Okay, that's very important to understand that you need to move in the transition. Don't just sit there like a duck. Okay, so did we break that down well enough? It was very good. Was it good? Yeah. Okay. Um, I don't want this video to go too long. We've got to go to paintball. Let me show you guys what I'd really like to do to counter this move. Because this is a really good technique, okay, to defend. It's also a reason why, go ahead and go to your, go to your back. Okay, watch this. I get into an arm triangle. This is also a reason why people sometimes don't go to the side. It's becoming more and more popular nowadays to finish in the mount, either with crossed ankles or double grapevines, okay? Because when you go to the side, it opens up this counter where he can bring his leg up. And that counter right there is so effective that guys will just say, oh, fine, I'll stay in the mount. Or another alternative that a lot of guys like is they, they put a knee on belly. 
They just go down belly and they go, good luck getting your leg now. Go ahead, bring your leg up. See? And then if I lock everything together, he's still gonna get caught, okay? So you can use that as a precaution. You can stay in the mount as a precaution. But if you go to the side, and this, this counter, I'm gonna tell you where I learned it. And I'm also gonna tell you what I really think about it. I think it's really good for guys that are built like me. They're built like Ed right here. And um, just kind of lanky. You gotta have some length in your arms. If you guys are super yoked out or you're fighting someone who's really thick, it's not gonna work. But check this, check this out right here. I learned this from Jacques Array, and he never taught it to me, like in person. I learned this by watching him. It's one of his earliest MMA fights. If you guys can go back and find it, it wasn't in the UFC, it was when he just started his MMA career. Um, again, I don't know who he fought, I don't even remember what year it was, but it was one of his first fights. This is actually where I learned this. Okay, watch what I'm gonna do. I have an arm triangle, okay? He's gonna start to hit, lock his leg and get that rock going. Okay, now come on over here, uh, Mike. So now, look what, look what I have. Look at my lock, come get a little closer, Mike. You gotta get in on this lock. See, I have a palm to palm right now. And what he's done is he's opened my lock. I can't close the deal on the, the two carotids, but now what's happened is the bone of my radius is now on his left carotid. And you know what else is funny is, um, Henzo Gracie just popped the video out not that long ago. And he was showing, uh, uh, demonstrating a choke where he did this. And it's funny because when I saw that video, I immediately thought of this counter that I like, that I love to use and I use it all the time. So if you guys ever check out that Hensel Gracie video, it, it's where he just shows a choke. And I, I think he's from the, in the back and he's demonstrating on uh, a really good black belt. I can't even remember. But um, the bone is right on the neck. So we have a choke right here. Okay, now watch. I'm just gonna come up. And a lot of guys will use an Ezekiel. See in the gi, guys will go Ezekiel. But no gi, again, if you watch that fight with Jacques Array, you just rear naked choke him, that's it. Grab my biceps, fold this hand around his head. And now even though he's trying to keep it open over here, come over here, Mike. He's trying to keep this open. It looks like it's wide open. All I do is pull my elbow like a gi choke. So let's try to defend so you can feel it. Don't get hurt, but try to defend. See that right there? And, and you can tell everybody how that felt. How did it feel? Um, it was slow coming, coming on. Slow coming on? Yeah, very slow coming on. And then, and then uh, uh, do you train in the gi at all? No. A little bit? No. no. No, no. It's almost like a gi choke. It cuts you just like the gi choke. Just like when you have here a collar and you're pulling your wrist across the neck. So like a great way to, you're, you're, making, you're giving him a collar basically by grabbing your biceps. Now your biceps, your left arm is the collar and then pull your right elbow back and you get an awesome choke out of this, okay? It's basically a rear naked choke with the arm in. So he's on his back. Again, go ahead and start on your back. Notice the arm is deep, my biceps are wrapped around. I've got a great arm triangle, but he opens it. So I have my palm to palm. Now watch what I'm gonna do with my legs. I slide my left knee up here to add to it. And then now once here, I'm gonna lock and then apply right here to his, the back of his neck and head. And I'm gonna squeeze and pull that right elbow back, okay? Now with my left knee, come over here and you, like, just stay right there. See this? Okay, see how I threw my left knee up in here? And then again, when I have this, sometimes I'll even pull a guy up and you know, he goes to grab my arms and stuff and I'll literally even put my hooks in and then come to the, get a good angle in the front. And then you guys see right here, I'm closing it. I'm chopping with my left hand in the back of his neck and squeezing, pulling my right elbow back and getting a nice little choke. Puts the guy unconscious, okay? really cuts into that carotid. Um, the other side is fully open, but one side gets cut and it can kind of, depending on the angles and everything, it can kind of hit a nerve every once in a while. Really, really hurt. So be nice to your partners. Um, so that's one of the counters I really like. 
and I use it all the time. But again, if you guys are all yoked out and you're monsters, I know I'm a monster, but uh, if you're a little bit more of a monster than me, then uh, it may not be good for you. So in that case, stay in neon belly, stay in the mount, you know, or if you go to the side, just make sure you cinch that thing tight. You know, if you get, if you get going on your offense, the guy won't have time for defense. So that's also important. Early defense is always real important, guys. Don't wait until the last second, okay? There's a lot of guys that do this. Um, let me get me in this position again. They, you'll see them get to here, they'll wait, and then they go like, it looks kind of like this. Like, just go ahead and push your shoulder up, and then they go, and then they tap. They, they totally waited until they had like one second left, okay? If you wait too long, you're gonna be out. So when a guy, can you just go to side control over here? Just jump back over my body. When a guy catches you here and he starts sliding over, go ahead, he goes knee on belly and I'm in this position and he slides over to the get the arm triangle. You guys should already be going. Don't wait until you're already halfway out. You guys need to go right away. Okay, rock, loosen it up, big chest, head up, okay? Stick your chest out, open everything up. That way it's tough for him. If he stays there and he keeps uh, like squeezing and I open it up enough, my left hand will come here and then I'll load my toes whoop, and my right arm will come here. Go ahead and walk around. Now I'm showing a lot of cool stuff here, a little different. Now as he tries to adjust, I'm not going to allow him. I'm gonna move and pull my right elbow in, and then now we're in this situation, much, much better for me. Because now when I come up, I can get reversals going. Okay, so, all right. They like to see it live a little bit. Here, can, don't get hurt. Where are you hurt right now? Uh, LCL tear. Okay. I'm four weeks in, so I'm pretty much recovered. Okay, don't, don't do anything. We're not gonna mess with the leg. Just go just, easy. Just, just, yeah, yeah, just, I'm not gonna do anything. Just, I just want to skate around trying to choke, 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 oh my God, oh my God, oh my goodness, gotta move, <laughs> get out of here, man, that was close, that was close, this guy almost choked me out, guys, get me again, that was good. He's got a death grip. <laughs> Here's the position, always happens. You're, you're, you're getting choked, but, or you're not getting choked, but you haven't escaped yet. So you just gotta hang in there. Don't give the guy your back, keep going. Don't give him anything. And we're here. Nice job. One more. See how we always get to this position? Now I want to stay on bar, and we're out. One time, here, you go defend. Oh. <laughs> so then you go. What works? Does the defense work? Or does the offense work? Well, that's for you guys to figure out. Get good at both. That way you can escape from everyone and you can submit everyone. Wouldn't that be a perfect world? It's not realistic, guy, that everybody's gonna get out and everybody's gonna finish. It's just not possible. But that's the beauty of it. You guys can work on all these different moves, try to make it work for you. There's always that guy out there, though. There's guys out there that will choke me out. And there's guys out there that will uh, escape every single time from me. My moves won't work. So, either way, did you learn something? Yeah, yeah. That was fun. Okay, these guys give me a workout <laughs> on the eve of Christmas Eve. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. Please click that link down below at Patreon, PayPal. Subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends. Like it. Do all that great stuff. And I hope you guys, I wish you guys an amazing holiday season. Enjoy, and uh, we're gonna go enjoy now. You gotta get on a plane. Yeah, I have to go get on a plane. He's gonna go get on a plane.
Come yeah. on in. Okay, he's going to get on a plane, and I'm going to go paintballing. Take it easy, guys. Enjoy your day. Thank you so much, Ed. All right. Cheers. All right. See ya.